Israel's government is examining a proposal to shift the weekend to the Western Saturday and Sunday, a step that may benefit financial markets and retail and leisure companies. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu this week appointed Eugene Kandel, head of the National Economic Council, to look into the implications of changing the weekend from Friday and Saturday. The proposal would make Friday a half day of work. Many in Israel use Friday to prepare for the Jewish Sabbath, which begins at sundown. Working and traveling is forbidden on the Sabbath, according to Jewish law, and most stores and many restaurants are closed for the Sabbath. אין ספק שבשנים האחרונות השבת הופכת להיות יום הקניות הלאומי ומרכזי קניות רבים נפתחו יש כאלה אפילו שמצהירים ש-50% מהפדיון השבועי שלהם נעשה ביום שבת אנחנו כמפלגה דתית מחויבים לדאוג לשמירתה של השבת ולכן אנחנו נעשה כל מאמץ לקדם את יום הראשון כיום יום המנוחה ולא יום שישי כדי שמרכזי הקניות ייסגרו בשבת ויום הראשון יהיה יום שבו האנשים יוכלו לקנות כאוות נפשם והשבת תישמר בעזרת השם Coalition talks have begun, and so each political party head is pushing for his or her own agenda and priorities to be addressed should they join the government led by Netanyahu. One of the themes that newcomer Naftali Bennett of the Jewish Home Party is committed to promoting is the incorporation of Sunday, which marks the beginning of the work week in Israel, into part of the weekend, similarly to the American and European models. Currently, many Israelis work five days a week, from Sunday to Thursday, while Friday is a day off for numerous workers, and schools and stores generally close early in order to enable preparation for the Jewish Sabbath. Turning Sunday into an official day off would allow many Israelis sufficient leisure time to run their errands, to shop, to cook, and to travel, since the current weekend format does not enable enough such time for observant Jews who are traditionally required to stop any form of work or creation at sundown on Friday. If approved in the future, the new Sunday arrangement will entail working an additional hour every weekday, operating for a few hours on Friday, followed by resting on both Saturday and Sunday in line with many other international communities. This kind of reform will impact many industries and businesses in Israel. Sunday uh, off will be good for everybody. Uh, first of all, those who want to keep Shabbat. Israel is like going further with all of the world. Elad Saban owns a bike shop in Tel Aviv. He believes working an additional hour every day will be worth the longer weekend obtained. So I think it will be perfect. However, while most will agree that middle-class Israelis work extensively in a hectic and pressured lifestyle, many professionals who are accustomed to working on Sunday fear that dropping an entire day of work for the purpose of rest would mean losing a lot of business, therefore making less money. Betty Levy designs wedding dresses and evening gowns, selling them in her Tel Avivian boutique. She is supportive of the new Sunday reform, so long as it allows her to continue making a living. If it's going to be Sunday off for the people that are working or studying at school or maybe in the university, it could be very nice and very good to the economy. But the store should be open because you cannot work just uh, for a day. A week, it's going to be very bad. You can have a store open and the coffee shop open and people can go and use it and buy, not in Shabbat, so it can be good. But some are against the idea altogether. Shabtai Liji is a sales director for a mattress factory. His company has been selling mattresses in Israel for three generations and over 60 years. He believes work is a blessing and would like to continue operating on Sunday in order to enable maximal productivity. 
I think that Sunday off is a terrible idea. It will cause people to become lazy. Hundreds of people, as it is, don't work starting from Friday evening. And so to shorten a work week in our economic situation today sounds silly to me. Work is healthy. We must work. Meanwhile, many college students and young professionals are pleased with the potential Sunday reform, which would seemingly grant them an extra day of rest from school and from work. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has not expressed opposition to the idea, but no agreement has been reached on it just yet in the current coalition talks. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.